Hey everyone, Singleton Sean here, and today I want to go over Task Completion Source in C Sharp, which is a great tool to handle some more advanced use cases with async await. So I have the side project I've been working on for a while, and what I was doing was I ran into this weird interface, so an OAuth2 authenticator, which is part of Xamarin Auth. So what I would do is I would have this authenticator, and I would subscribe to this completed event and this error event, and then I would pass the authenticator into this login presenter. And this login presenter would pop up a web browser where the user could put in their Google credentials and log in with Google. And if the login was successful, it would raise this completed event and I could get the user's ID token, username, stuff like that. And if the login failed, it would raise this error event and I could handle the error however I want. But as you can see, this is kind of a quirky interface to work with. I have to subscribe to these events, then actually present the login page, and then I have to unsubscribe when I'm done. Ideally, what I would want to do is something like this. So say this is like the user's token that I get after the login, and I would just get that by awaiting presenter.login, pass in the authenticator. So it would give me the token, I wouldn't have to subscribe to this completed event, and then if there was an error, it would throw the error as an exception. So ideally, this is the interface that I would want to work with not having to subscribe to this completed and error event. So that is where task completion source is useful, and we're going to go over that in just a second. I just wanted to show off how you might run into an interface like this, and this is where task completion source would be useful. So anyways, let's head over to a more simple setup and show off how you can use task completion source. Okay, so here we are over in this demo project and I've kind of duplicated that Xamarin interface I was working with. So I have this web authentication service and I request an access token and that starts a new thread and that simulates basically the web browser getting popped up. And then we sleep inside of this thread for 500 milliseconds and that's like the user entering their login credentials, and if the login failed, which is just a flag I set up here, it'll raise this error event with an exception, and if the login was successful, it'll raise this completed event with the user's access token. So I use this interface the same way I did in the Xamarin app. I subscribe to these events and then request the access token and handle all those events down here by just writing out information to the console. So let's see this in action real quick. So we get access token written to the console after waiting a little bit. Okay, so what I want to do is use task completion source to make this interface a little bit easier to work with. So I don't want to be subscribing to these events. What I want to do is make this an async task that'll give me back the access token if it was successful and if it wasn't successful, it's just going to throw an exception. So none of this event raising down here, it's just going to throw exceptions or either give me back what I need. So instead of this, we're just going to call this get access token. All right, so we're going to leave all this and let's use task completion source. So this is a generic class and we specify what we want our task to return. We want it to return a string, which is the user's access token. Let's call this access token task source and just instantiate it. Okay. So now we have this task completion source and we're going to use it inside of this thread. So if the login failed, we're going to take our task source and set an exception on it. And that's just going to be this invalid credentials exception. Let's put that in there. But if the login was successful, we're going to take our task source and set the result to this access token. So it's a string because that's what we want our test to return, of course. So we do all that, and while this is all happening, what we're going to do is await the access token task source task. So we're awaiting this task down here, and this will give us back the access token and then we're just going to return that from this function. 
So we're awaiting this task down here, and this task is not going to finish until we either set the exception inside here or set the result inside here. So let's see how that works. And we're going to have to actually update our program.cs real quick. Let's make this an async task. Let's do a try catch right here. And if there's an exception, we're going to write that to the console. So as you can see, we're just moving stuff out of our callbacks into this kind of synchronous flow we have here. So let's get the token as well. And where we're going to get this token from, we're going to get it from our authenticator, get access token. And then we're simply just going to await that and we can get rid of all of these callbacks. And there we go. As you can see, this is already so much cleaner to deal with. We simply ask for the access token and get it, or we catch an exception. Let's go ahead and import task. And let's go back into our authentication service and put breakpoints here. Okay, so let's run this and see how this works. Okay, so we hit this breakpoint right here so we're gonna await this task so let's continue so we're waiting the task awaiting the task and this thread finished we didn't fail so now we're setting this result on our task source and now if I put a breakpoint after this task that we just awaited now as you can see the task finished because we set the result and now we're returning the access token and there we go we get access token so let's try this with failing real quick. So I'm going to take my authenticator and tell it to fail. And now we should hit this breakpoint, wait for the exception to be set, and then return from this method. All right, so we're going to await the task. Let's continue. Our login failed, so now we're setting an exception. And this actually isn't going to come down here. It's just going to throw the exception from right here and we're going to handle it right in here. So there we go. We set the exception, it threw it, and now we're handling it down here. We got the message from right there and we simply write that to the console. So there we go. That is task completion source. So you can turn some funky interfaces into an async await interface all by using the simple task completion source. Anyways, if you have any questions, criticisms, or concerns, be sure to leave a comment below in the comments section. But I hope you guys learned a little bit in this tutorial and can find some use cases for task completion source.